All right, everybody. Sorry, I was getting all my buttons all mixed up. Uh, welcome to another video. Today, we, we're, we're going to be uh, talking about some really interesting things. My name is Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest. And as you uh, folks already know, here at the Nerd Nest, we're a big fan of GeForce Now. If you're not familiar with what GeForce Now is, it allows you to play the games that you own, um, that you own on Steam or, say, Epic Games Store on a cloud server that is run by NVIDIA. So you buy the game on Steam, you log into GeForce Now. If it's a supported game, you can play it on their rig. So you don't have to buy expensive video cards or PCs if you're running on, say, a Chromebook or something else, even if you're on a TV, which obviously can't run PC games. Uh, so big fan of, of GeForce Now. Um, but we were recently told about some news uh, and... The news, I, I don't I don't want to bury the lead, but I also don't want to overhype things. The news is very good. Very, very good if you're a fan of cloud gaming. So uh, I thought we would chat about it for a little bit and kind of see uh, kind of see where it takes us. Um, this probably won't be too long of a video, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of follow-up on the news. Um, but I, I'm I'm keeping the news from you. I should probably just get right into it. So let's uh let's do that. So GeForce Now um, is unveiling something new, uh, something that is incredibly cool. You can see it on the screen right now. It's uh, it's this uh, futuristic server looking thing. And uh, this is a huge upgrade uh, that NVIDIA is doing to their streaming service, their um, cloud gaming service. Uh, they created this new piece of hardware called the GeForce Now SuperPod. Um, so, I mean, GeForce Now SuperPod, very cool. It's, uh, it's a bunch of GPUs in one enclosure. In fact, it is 39,000 teraflops, uh, with 11 and a half million CUDA cores and, um, almost 9,000 CPU cores in one of these SuperPod major, um, major cloud computing uh, mini computers. Like, to me, this is like a mainframe. This is like a cloud gaming mainframe uh, to use old terminology that you can just put up in the cloud. Um, just a crazy amount. 9,000 CPU cores. Uh, 12, um, well, 11 and a half million CUDA cores. This thing screams with 39,200 teraflops. Um, so when when they announced this, I was like, oh, and, and they talked about some other things like they're expanding where GeForce Now is. They're opening up new servers, um, new um, data centers, rather, um, so that uh, maybe people like us in Canada, I'm, I'm, I'm in Winnipeg here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. There's going to be um, some news for us up here um, coming very, very soon and some other servers. But then they got into the SuperPod thing and I was just like, that's interesting. Why are they doing that? Um, because, well... 39,000 teraflops, that's why. So um, they talked about the super pods for a while, um, but then they got into something that is a, a little bit a little bit different. Uh, and this is the, the huge news. Um, this is gonna change cloud gaming uh, as a whole um, in the industry. Um, they're unveiling something called the RTX 3080 experience. And what this is going to allow you to do, so if, when you sign up for it, and we'll get into that a cost and how you sign up for it in a little bit. But when you sign up for GeForce Now RTX 3080 experience and you have that account, you then are logging into a rig that has a 35 teraflop GPU, which is uh, three times the power of an Xbox series. Uh, it has an eight core CPU, 16 threads, 28 gigs of, of RAM. Uh, a huge SSD, and this is huge uh, for people that like uh, 2K gaming. Um, 1440p at 120 frames per second. So no longer will GeForce now be limited to 1080p. You'll now be able to stream up to 1440p on pretty much any device if you are a 3080 experience member. So 120 frames a second. If you don't have a monitor that is 120 hertz, we'll get into that in a second with some new technology that is all baked into this. So yeah, um, 3080 is going to be a new tier. You get 1440p, 120 hertz, uh, or 120 frames a second being sent to you um, 
G Nvidia is calling this next generation gaming on any device. Um, 70 times the graphic performance of the average laptop, uh, 13 times an Apple M1 uh, MacBook Air. Uh, so uh, not the newest ones that just came out, but kind of a, an off the shelf MacBook that you would buy, 13 times uh, the performance and seven times the performance of your average Steam desktop, um, the average card being a GTX 1060. So huge, huge. So not only are you getting a better stream being sent to your eyeballs, the game is going to be running on a rig that has better hardware, which means better performance um, and, and potentially better latency. And we'll get into that right now with a, another technology that they're calling Active Sync, or sorry, adapt, Adaptive Sync technology. So this to me was uh, like a little explosion went off in my brain um, because why would they send you 120 hertz if your monitor is only 60 hertz? Why would they send you 60 hertz if your monitor is only 30 hertz? I have a MacBook Pro and when I connect a 4K monitor, uh, the only thing I can get is 30 hertz. So 30 hertz is still a refresh rate that a lot of people have. So they're, they've come up with a system where your computer syncs with the GPU that is running in the cloud through adaptive sync. Um, so if your CPU is, or sorry, if your, um, if your system, if your monitor is only 30 hertz or 60 hertz, the game is going to, uh, is basically going to lock on that. It's going to lower latency because it's going to get rid of the buffering. It's not going to create video and send it to you if you can't use it. Why would they double up the frames if you can't use it? And it basically just synch synchronizes the frame pipeline server to client. So instead of just the server kind of doing things on its own and, and hoping for the best, um, it's talking back to the client. And your client can be, um, you could be using the GeForce Now app on your PC or Mac. You could be using a shield. You could be using a, a device like a, uh, an Android uh, phone. Um, all those things will communicate back and forth and they will only give you the frames that you can support. And their their main goal is to, of course, lower uh, bandwidth if you're not using it, but also to get rid of stutter um, from basically frames not being there when they should or being sent too many frames. So even if they weren't sending you a 1440p uh, um, uh, resolution video or a resolution stream, the actual look will be better because of this adapt adaptive sync technology where it's only giving you frames that your PC can handle, which is pretty darn cool. But that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Um, uh, there's some more detail. We'll get into that right away. Um, if you're interested in an RTX 3080, um, there's now three tiers of GeForce Now. There's, of course, the free tier, you can be on for an hour uh, on a basic rig, so no HD, no HDR, no RTX, none of the uh, the enhanced stuff that you would get. But it's free, so you buy a game like, or, or or you log in and claim a game like Fortnite, and you can play on GeForce's servers for one hour. Then there's the current one, which is Priority, which is fifty dollars for six months. That gets you a premium rig with RTX, not a 3080, but a premium rig. Uh, priority access to the rigs. So if there's a lot of people playing on the free tier, you're going to jump them in line uh, and, and get in their first six hour session length and uh, 1080p 60. But now there's the new RTX 3080 tier, um, which has obviously an RTX 3080 rig, uh, eight hour session length. So if you are a long time um, marathon gamer, this will be good. Uh, and it will give you 1440p at 120 hertz. But this is even cooler. If you're like me, and you have one of these devices, uh, an NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, uh, which I love. I love this device. Uh, we've talked about this so many times on uh, the various podcasts and on this NerdNest channel. You're not going to be getting a 1440p signal. You're going to be getting a 4K HDR, 60 frames a second to your Shield TV. So if you've always been saying, man, I want to use GeForce now, but I want 4K, you're going to you're gonna have the chance to get 4K now. I'm just going to turn this music down a little bit. Uh, Harris Heller's uh, new Cracked album is playing in the background. So uh, yeah, stream safe and uh, didn't realize it would be so loud. Um, so yeah, if you're like me and you have one of these uh, bad boys, you can now, through the RTX 3080, 
uh, get a 4K 60 frames a second HDR signal to your Shield TV. Uh, if you don't, that's cool. You'll still get 1440p up to 1440p at 120 hertz on the other devices. This is $100 for a six month membership. Um, they're only selling it six months at a time because they want some buy in. They don't want to roll out all of these uh, servers and have them sit dormant. So they're going to be doing a slow rollout. And there's limited quantities, so as soon as the pre-orders go up, if you want this, you should go pre-order um, because it is going to be first come, first served. So um, 120 hertz, if you have 120 hertz TV, you can take advantage of it. 120 hertz monitor on your PC, you can take advantage of it. Uh, but NVIDIA also announced that if you have some um, Android phones, uh, I was going to say Amazon phones, I don't know why I was going to say Amazon, but if you have an Android phone that has 120 hertz screen, you can also take advantage of 120 hertz right to your hands on your phone. Ridiculous, ridiculous. So this is gonna be huge, like 4K on a Shield TV Pro. Um, this is gonna be now competitive with the top, uh, the, the top player in the industry that delivers 4K HDR. Uh, you, of course, need this little bit of hardware um, to, to get that stream um, resolution. Uh, but even if you don't, 1440p, um, if you're running a 1440p uh, video and a 4K video on two equal monitors side by side, it's very tough to tell um, the difference. Of course, 4K will have more data. You'll have a little bit of a better uh, graphic performance. But when you're streaming something to your eyeballs, you're not going to notice that. You're not going to have the side by side. 1440p is what people have been asking for for a long time from every service like PlayStation 5 shipped without shipped without 1440p support uh, and the internet was up up in uh, in an uproar ab about it because everybody wants 1440p um so yeah um I don't I don't know what else there is to say this is ridiculous so you're gonna have um, two players in in the industry that can do up to 4k. Uh, one that hasn't uh, gotten quite there yet. Then, of course, there's some other people. Um, this is going to be very interesting come uh, the next time a big game comes out, like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, like uh, uh, you name it, uh, a, a big multi-platform release. You're going to have options now. If you want to if you wanna get a 4K stream to your eyeballs, you're going to be able to do that, but you are going to need some additional hardware, a Shield TV Pro. Um what else? I, I do think that's about it. So just curious, what, what do you all think? Uh, are you planning on signing up for RTX 3080? Is, is this something that you can, can see yourself doing? A uh, hundred bucks a year to buy what is essentially a, a multi-thousand dollar PC that will be streaming your games to you? Kind of ridiculous. Uh, I'm very interested in getting in and playing around with this. Hopefully I'll have some hands-on time in, um, in, in the near future so that we can talk about it here. But uh, early access pre-order starts October 21st. So it is currently uh, Thursday the 21st, um, which is uh, t today. <laughs> so as soon as you see this video, go pre-order your early access stuff because you want to get in there. Well, if you want the product, you want to get in there early to make sure that you get it. Um, NVIDIA is calling this the most powerful gaming supercomputer ever built. Um, I've worked with supercomputers before, uh, doing some stuff at my day job, and uh, they are very expensive. So NVIDIA is throwing all the money at this because they understand that they have something very special, um, that they have something uh, that other people are going to want to play around with. And um, yeah, you're going to be able to get it. So RTX 3080 memberships, pre-order starts October 21st, today. Availability to actually play on this device. Or, or these devices in the various data centers around the world uh, will start in November. Of course, it's going to be a rollout, so it's not going to be day one everywhere. They're going to be doing rollouts because this is an expensive buy to get all this equipment made, set up, and configured in a data center. Um, but yeah, NVIDIA bringing you the most powerful gaming supercomputer ever built right to your eyeballs, um, streaming over the internet, playing the latest and greatest at up to a 4K60 HDR on my... Sh I can't wait to try that, dude. I, I so can't wait. Um, I'm really excited about the future of cloud gaming. Uh, as, you, as you know, here at NerdNest, we love, we love gaming, but we love cloud gaming. 
and competition breeds new features and innovation. I can't wait to see what the other players in the industry come out with because uh, I, I just, I, I want, uh, NVIDIA is obviously doing amazing things right now. Um, this is a huge announcement. I can't wait to play around with it. But all you need is uh, another player to come up with something uh, more exciting. And then NVIDIA is going to go back to the drawing board and it's going to basically make uh, cloud gaming, kind of like the old school console wars, where one would come out, the other would come out with better, they'd have better advertising, more features, new super FX chips, and blast processing, and all that other stuff is going to come to uh, come to play. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing for us, the gamer. It's a good thing for us, people that cover the gaming industry. And it's a good thing for you, the people that are watching this video. So what do you think? Let us know below. If you're not already a member here of Nerd Nest, you can check out all the videos that we do. Easiest way, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit us a thumbs up, you know, all the YouTube things. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to chat with you. Um, but yeah, six months for $100, that just means for a year, it's going to cost you $200 to access a 3080. You can't even buy a 3080 in stores, uh, like the, the latest generation graphics cards. So even if you wanted to build a PC and slap all that stuff together and you're willing to throw uh, multiple thousands of dollars at the beefiest gaming rig ever, um, you can't even buy the cards right now. Now you have an option, $200 a year, stream all of your supported Steam games or Epic Game Store games right to your computer through GeForce's next generation cloud gaming platform, the most powerful gaming supercomputer ever built. This is super exciting. I can't wait to talk more about this. Let us know what you think below. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll talk to you in the next one. Um, I'm ready to uh, to do some more streaming on GeForce Now. Can't wait to test out the 4K. Can't wait to test out all the other features. And if you want to see that stuff, make sure you're locked here on NerdNest.TV. Have a good one, everybody.